So I'm gonna show you the difference between the Anaconda and the Dars. This is so confusing in jiu-jitsu because it looks like the same move, but it's really not. Both of these you could do from someone turtled, like he shot a takedown on me, I sprawled, got my legs free, and now I could choose. If you wanna do Anaconda, I wrap the head, and now my hand, instead of going around his neck for a guillotine, it comes under his armpit, and it goes to my bicep. The other hand goes up like a rear naked choke. So you basically rear naked choking his head. When I finish, I'm gonna drop my head, Anaconda gator roll him, squeeze and hug. Dars, instead of wrapping around his head like an anaconda head, I'm gonna go under his armpit. Boom, to the neck. Same exact grip though. I grab the bicep, come up as high as I can like a rear naked choke, and I could just drop right here and finish if I want. Same kind of thing if he's on his side. This would be the Dars, because I'm going under the armpit. Whenever you go under the armpit, it's the Dars. Boom, this is the very popular place to get it. Boom, and squeeze. I'm not getting an anaconda from side. It's just never gonna work. So the Dars, you would do from side control and you could do it from turtle. The anaconda, you're pretty much just doing from turtle. And it's just a matter of where do you connect the hands under the armpit or by the neck. Follow me for more jujitsu tips.